The sponsor of this video is MassDrop. MassDrop hosts group buys with discounted pricing of products chosen by the community. They specialize in headphones and mechanical keyboards, but they offer a lot more, including LG ultra-wide monitors. Use the link in the description to go make a free account and check it out for yourself. A couple of months ago, I reviewed the LG 34UC97, and I said it was the best monitor I've ever used. But that's no longer true. LG released the 34UC87C, which makes some improvements and lowers the price tag to under a thousand bucks. This is the new best monitor I've ever used, despite the horrible model name. I want to start by talking about the improvements LG made with the 34UC87C over the 34UC97. But before I can get into that, I'm going to give you some context and go over the specs of the 34UC87C. We're looking at a 34 inch ultra wide monitor with a resolution of 3440 by 1440 and a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It's an IPS panel with good viewing angles, which is important because it's also curved. Each side of the monitor is slightly tilted towards the center, providing a more immersive experience in basically every single scenario. All right, so on to the improvements. The first and biggest improvement is price. The new LG 34UC87C is now under a thousand bucks. Its MSRP is 900 bucks, and they were able to lower the price tag because they decided not to include a Thunderbolt port, which in my opinion is a very good trade-off because I don't use Thunderbolt, but some of you would rather have the Thunderbolt in, but they still have the 34UC97, which offers Thunderbolt for a little bit more. And the starting price is 900 bucks, but that's just the starting price. Theoretically, it'll just get lower and lower, whether you're buying it used or say it's dropped on mass drop or something that price will keep getting lower and lower and i'm really happy to see it under a thousand bucks and i just want to clarify here 999 dollars is the list price which means it's only going to start there for example lg's other ultra wide curved monitor on amazon is more than 300 dollars below its original list price so we could see the price tag of the 34uc87 going a lot lower than 999 bucks and that's when you're going to want to pick it up when you see it around 800 bucks Another big improvement LG made was the stand. Gone is the hardly adjustable, super shiny plastic stand on the 34UC97. And now we have an industrial looking plastic stand with a lot more functionality and adjustability. The biggest adjustable feature is height adjustment, but I don't want to give LG too much credit because it should have been there in the first place. With height adjustment combined with tilt, you get a lot of room to play around with, whether you want it really high up and tilted down or just straight ahead, it'll work. At first, I was a little disappointed it doesn't include pivot so it could go vertical, but then I realized that vertical curve would just, it just wouldn't work really. Also with that new stand comes a default VESA mount. On the old 34UC97, you could get VESA, but you needed an adapter that you would like screw on to the monitor and then you would have VESA. But with the new stand, you get VESA there by default and that's better. So LG, thank you. I think I've said that line in another video. So now let's talk about using the monitor. Using this ultra wide, big, really high resolution curved monitor is a dream come true. In every single situation, the monitor is absolutely phenomenal. I have zero complaints using it. For editing videos, this is quite possibly the best monitor ever. Editing is super efficient with such a wide monitor because there's a ton of room for the timeline and the high resolution is also really helpful because you can fit a full 720p video on the screen with plenty of room to edit with. You could even fit a 1080p video if you wanted a little less room to edit with. Of course, the curve also engulfs you in your work. Honestly, editing is just awesome on this monitor. Same goes for gaming. It's extremely immersive and the high resolution looks phenomenal but you do need a beefy GPU to like push high settings on such a high resolution monitor, which is slightly a problem. And if you don't have a very beefy GPU like me, you just need to turn some settings down or play it at a slightly lower resolution, which is kind of annoying, but it is a reasonable trade-off. And then in everyday use, this monitor offers incredible multitasking capabilities. It can fit two full-sized windows next to each other comfortably, and it really just does multitasking well. It's like having two screens right next to each other, but there's no bezel because it's, it's just one screen. Honestly, at this point, I'm just finding different ways to complement the monitor. The best part about the monitor is the price, but it's also really expensive. In terms of monitors, you can get a decent 1080p monitor for like 200 bucks. So it's hard to justify dropping $900 on a monitor. It's probably as much as most people's computers cost. So the price is the best thing. And it's also kind of the worst thing because it's just an extremely expensive market for such a monitor. But either way, I have zero complaints with the monitor. This is the best monitor. I've ever used. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And as always, stay classy.